everyone, welcome to MT Guitar. Today we're doing Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. This was most well known probably for being on the movie Good Will Hunting, starring Matt Damon and Robin Williams. Elliot Smith, who's I think one of the biggest underrated songwriters of our time, he died uh, tragically too young. He's most well known for winning Best Original Song in 1998 at the Academy Awards for Miss Misery, which appeared on Good Will Hunting. He performed it live. That sort of catapulted him um, from obscurity. He's one of those artists who, if people know about him, they're usually a big fan of his. Uh, just an incredible writer with such inventive chords and melodies. This song is no exception. Uh, we have some really interesting chord inversions going on. Most chord sheets online, they'll, they'll say that he, uh, when he says that you don't want around, that, that section that is just F to G. And that sounds kind of accurate, I guess. But I knew something was wrong because I heard the bass go from here to here to here. I was working on this with a private student. I said, gosh, that can't be F to G, okay, because there's an A flat. So what's happening is he's playing an F minor over A flat. Never seen this, uh, honestly. I mean, so inventive of him. Uh, typical Elliot Smith. To an E minor over G, also gorgeous. And that's, those are both first inversion minor chords. So, really cool. Then, D9 over F sharp. Even that is not typical. We're used to seeing like a regular D over F sharp, but this is first string open, just great stuff. The other cool thing about this is, well, he goes from A minor seven on the verse to F add nine. So, I don't know, I just kind of was like smitten by, by these chords as I was figuring it all out. So, I recommend checking him out, checking out this song, this lesson. Let's go ahead, jump in and learn this song. All right, so first things first, it is in double drop standard tuning. So we're gonna drop a whole step down. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit of a hassle to do this every time you play the song. So what I would do is learn the song with me in this drop tuning, okay? And then you can tune up and just play it in the regular tuning. I always like to honor the original because it does have a nice bassy warm sound. So as I'm teaching this, it just felt right to teach it in that tuning. So your E goes to D, a goes to G, etc. D to C, G to F, B to A, and then E to D. Okay, okay, I wanted to draw your attention to this new thing I'm gonna start adding onto the Patreon tabs when I can, maybe not every single song. I'm gonna start adding a lead sheet with the melody, meaning the chords and the melody all in one place on the tab, either at the bottom of the tab or sometimes in a separate uh, PDF. It's a really cool thing because I think playing the melody is something I've talked about and it can really help you grow, not only just as a guitarist and musician, but also in terms of understanding the song, right? Really important. So check that out if you will. And um, I probably won't cover it in the lesson, but the melody is written out and the chords are written out. So it's kind of a cool thing to check out. All right, so it's gonna be an A minor seven, but we wanna have our third fret first string there. Okay, it's gonna be uh, fifth, fourth strings, then up twice kind of mute after the first one so it's like like that and then fifth fourth again but this time third string and then down up I'm strumming mostly with my index finger but you can strum with your whole hand if you want uh, it's kind of a mixture of, of all of it when you kind of get going so you want to use your use your nails and use your your fingers to kind of strum there Not so easy actually. So one more time. Fifth, fourth, up, up, fifth, fourth, third, down, up. Sorry, I slowed down at the end. One more time. Okay. Now onto the verse. Now we're gonna have this really dependable part that only changes once or twice on the chorus. So it's really cool. Up, bass, down, up, down, up. And it's a swing, so this is a, a waltz swung. Bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up. All right, next chord will be not so fun for some people because it's you know, it, it requires your thumb, but really to get an F add nine with the first fret, sixth string, you need to use your thumb. So here it is, thumb there, first four strings, three, two, one, three. And what I like to do is kind of bar the fifth string, third fret 
just nice to have that thumb be able to bleed over to the fifth string. So you'd have all six strings ringing out. If that hurts your hand, don't worry about it. Same thing, bass down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, C. Good, G over B, but a G6, because the first string is ringing open too. Okay, so let's recap. Three, uh, one, two, three. Drink up, baby. Alright, back to A minor 7, F add 9, this time, sorry, C, E, F. Alright, that's the verse. Okay, now for the chorus, this is where it gets a little tricky, okay. Um, after it ends on the, on, you know, the verse goes C, E, F, right, for two bars. This chorus starts here on the F, so it's going to be F, down up, down up, down up, just like before. G6, so it sounds really good with this low tuning. It's just a G without the first or second string at all, right? So it's going to be bass, down up, down up. Here's the hard part. <laughs> so that's going to be a little tricky, all right? So it's going to be A, uh, down up, so bass, down up. Now, second, third, O, two. That's the first step. Now I'm going to add another step here, but first let's get that. Bass down of second, third, O, two. Now we're going to add an up strum if you can on the first and possibly the first two strings between each note. So it's going to be bass down, up, bass up with the first finger and repeat. Okay, he barely is doing that. It's, it's subtle, so I wouldn't go crazy with it. See? Kind of adds a little rhythm to it. Now the fun part. <laughs> a flat, oh, sorry, F minor over A flat. Wow, what a chord. First three strings barred on the first fret. Fourth fret uh, on the bass. That's a first inversion, F minor. And you're going to go bass, down, up, down, up. Move everything down a fret, so third fret and open for E minor over G. Then a D9 over F sharp, second fret, O2, 1, O. Fifth string is muted. Okay. Bass, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down. So why don't we cover it from the beginning of the chorus? One, two, three. People, you've been before that you don't walk around. Just beautiful. Wow. All right. F. Regular G, no, sorry, not regular G, uh, G6. Then repeat the bass line, bass, two, three, O, oh, two. Instead of going to F minor over A flat, we do go to F. Two bars, F minor. Form is complete. So that was the, um, after this, D9. All right, here's the second half, F, G6. Walk up here. F. F minor. And then we just have a, a second verse and chorus. It's the same exact thing. He does add a guitar part, which is kind of the melody, but it's all kind of uh, rhythmically, um, it's kind of in the background, so it's kind of just sort of a texture at that point. But you know, you can you can check that out on the on the tab. So there you go. Really good song. Work on that 3-4 feeling, that, that grooving sort of swing. And it's just got a, just a nice, a nice uh, rhythmic vibe to it. So hopefully you enjoy.